Have you ever wondered why some drinks stay sugar-free or less sugar, and others don't? Well, let me tell you a story. Once upon a time, we tested three drinks of the same brand with three different varieties: original, less sugar, and sugar-free. We did a taste test to see which of the drinks were less sweet. Lo and behold, surprise, surprise! The less sugar variety was the least sweet, while the sugar-free variety was the sweetest. Considering this paradox, other products with similar claims come to mind, from diet soda, juice, yogurt, chocolate, and many more. Which brings up the question: How products with less or no sugar taste sweet at all? Firstly, what does sugar-free and less sugar really mean? These are nutritional claims, which simply suggest that this particular food or drink contains a particular beneficial property. In the case of less sugar, it means that the product has 25% less sugar compared to the original version. While sugar-free or no sugar means that each serving contains less than half a gram of sugar. Why do these products exist? Aren't the originals good enough? Well, despite sugar's popularity, it doesn't come without cost. Eating or drinking too much sugar is known to contribute to diabetes, a major global killer. It is estimated that the number of diabetes worldwide is expected to be 366 million by 2030. So, although sugar is naturally found in whole foods, a lifestyle with too much added sugar can lead to diabetes and even death. Which is why these products exist to make healthier and better products for the world. Okay, but wait, how can these products taste sweet? Sugar, in its essence, tastes sweet because of how it interacts with sweet taste receptors in the tongue. If we can activate receptors. We can make food sweet without sugar. This is where sweeteners come in. Artificial sweeteners like saccharin, acesulfame, sucralose, aspartame have been used as food additives to replace sugar in some foods, while natural sweeteners like stevia may also be used. Some of these sweeteners have little to no calories, and most don't lead to diabetes because it doesn't spike the blood glucose levels. To do this experiment at home, you can prepare any kind of beverage, the original and the less sugar or sugar-free variety. Say soda in its diet version. Do a blind test, which simply means that the tasters don't know which is which. Use a response sheet to record the tasters' responses on which is sweeter. You might find some pretty interesting findings there. Or you can investigate these products by looking at the nutrition facts behind, where total sugar is stated. Remember, this amount is for every serving, not the whole packaging. Also, ingredients are listed in the ingredient list by their amount. If sugar appears first, then it is the most used ingredient. Of course, some products even have multiple names of sugar written, so their sugar won't be the first ingredient. So make sure you check the nutrition label too. All in all, sugar tastes sweet and can cause some pretty serious health damages. That doesn't mean you should eliminate it completely from your diet. Just that if you choose to eat those sugary stuff, make sure to take them in moderation.